I'm it was already a rough night when it all went down. It was raining cats and dogs out there, and I was still recovering from last week's beating. Turns out my assailant was from the Asian American Association for Equality. Too many Chinese food jokes. Should, pro- should probably knock it off. I was nursing my wounds when she walked. Am I interrupting? She was a real femme fatale, pure TNT. She wasn't a brick house, but a brick city. A stone cold fox. She was pretty uh, hot. I was, I was attracted to her. I saw your Tex Murphy video. Really funny stuff. Well, thanks, but it was too obscure, too under the radar. Nobody gives a rat's ass about text games anymore. Yeah, I think it's time for old Detective Creel to retire. I let the news channels take over once and for all. I'm washed up, cup put. Can't top the anime games Creel play, that's for you sure. You can't, Detective Creel, you just can't. You see, I'm actually... The next Tex Murphy game you have to play. What? Oh, shit! Well, I guess today we're gonna be looking at Tex Murphy Games Part 2, the Pandora Directive. And before we dive right in, we need to establish two basic things. Number one, I think it's the greatest game series ever made. And number two, I am right. Our story opens up with a simple break in. A small glimpse into the seedy underbelly of New San Francisco. Hey, you're, hey, you're gonna wake her up, man. Like, uh, be quiet. Ah, sleeping with her eyes open with blood all over her face. She must be really sick. Let's go ahead and look up these symptoms. Uh, let's see here. Another Detective Creel, another case. Uh, here you go. See, I told you, she's got chicken box. Back with the Murph man. Good old Tex. What you been up to, pal? Ah, off to a good start, I see. You finally scored a date with Chelsea Bando. Hallowed be thy name forever and ever, amen. I appreciate your concern, Tex, but I have been fine on my own for a long time. So you, so you're saying there's a chance? See you later. <laughs> yeah, all right. You got, you got my number. What a schmuck! Ha! Well, at least somebody's kind enough to buy me a drink around here. Who's the lucky dame? It's from the distinguished gentleman in the corner. Buy me a drink. Oh, good evening. Good evening. Gordon Fitzpatrick is my name. Please sit down, sir. Gordon Fitzpatrick. Well. Well, well, well. Since the beginning of time, people have laughed at bad video game acting, but nobody talks about the legend, the absolute king, that is Gordon Fitzpatrick. Just look at the way he commands the scene, that stellar overacting, those enticing eyes. My office is just around the corner, the Ritz Hotel. Why don't we go there? You see, you didn't even need to convince me, so goddamn charismatic, we just appeared here. I like your office. So what can old Tex Murphy do for you, Fitzpatrick? Well, I'm trying to find an old acquaintance of mine, Thomas Malloy, Dr. Thomas Malloy. Doctor, huh? Probably wears glasses then. For many years, I was a research scientist, and I worked alongside Dr. Malloy. Oh, interesting. About More pieces to the puzzle. Creel? Hawk, hawk, uh, yeah, you in the back. We only we only need the live audience for the applause and stuff. Uh, just let's just hold the questions till the yeah, end. Yeah, but are, are you are you gonna play the game? Is there is there a game to play, or are, you, are we just gonna yeah? But watch? this is fun, you know. You we're watching movies Ooh, together. Uh, all right, all right. I'll play. I'll play the fucking game. Well, anyway, he signs us a check for four grand with his fancy laser pen, and off we go on our search for Thomas Valoy, another great case for Tex Murphy. Yes, sir. Things are definitely looking up. Damn, they really updated the interface from the last game. Uh, this time it's red. I wonder if we search his office, we can uncover some deep text lore. So after the accident, my brothers and sisters started calling me Tex. W- wait, I don't get it. I like every text game. We start our search asking what Chelsea's heard from the streets. Now there's actually a secret ending if we get all the conversation choices with Chelsea right throughout the game, so buckle up. This is what separates the boys from the, g- the gamer boys. Playing hard to get. Okay. Play your little game. Figured I'd go out to dinner tonight, but I hate to eat alone. I've got a better idea. Why don't you let me make you dinner at my place? It was cheaper than going out. And, uh, besides, I have, uh, something I'd like to talk to you about. I'm trying to bribe this landlord to let me into Thomas Molloy's apartment, but now he's saying I owe more money. Oh, boo-hoo-hoo. Here, let me give you some back. Ah! 
You didn't say the magic word. Oh, uh, yeah? What's the magic word? You give me my money back or I'm gonna beat the shit out of you? Don't worry, though. We'll just get some more money from this wallet we find in the sewers because I totally, definitely didn't use a walkthrough to get through. All right, now that we can get into Malloy's apartment, let's see what the doctor's been up to. Let's see what he's got in his desk, huh? Ah, oh, a photo of a little girl. What is, what is this, developer's kid? Like, who gives a shit? Looks like Malloy made a special llama pal back in the God days. damn it, I knew they were trying to cover something up. That llama's the key to it all. And we found a scarf here. Oh, how fabulous. Looks like Detective Creel's gonna turn this case in a little bit of a uh, little a little late but luckily he didn't kill us so we just slept through the night w wait a minute why don't you let me make you dinner we slept through the day with chelsea no i yeah, pretty much fucked that up i say i say we just ignore the whole thing that usually helps hey big lou you seen anybody coming to the diner with the scarf oh yeah i remember this scarf <laughs> And the perfume. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, Lou, you creep me the f out. Have you see the girl or not? I think she said her name was Emily. Ah, Emily, my favorite exotic dancer from the Flamingo. I, I mean, my friend's favorite exotic dancer from the Flamingo Club. Okay, now's a good time to apologize to Chelsea, but please don't tell her we're going to a strip club after this. You're probably really upset with me. You're damn right I'm upset. I didn't deserve to be stood up. How am I gonna save this one? How huh? will you forget that just like in real life, you have the power of multiple choice questions to save any relationship? Sorry that you had a bad night. And I'm even more sorry that I got so mad at you. Damn, I'm one suave son of a bitch. Let's hit the titty bar, Tex. Well, all right, I guess we found Emily, the girl who owned the scarf, but I, I guess we gotta wait till she's done singing before we ask her questions. It's not, it's not gonna go through the whole song, right? Tex, your strategy of waiting in her dressing room in the dark until she gets back is ingenious. Come near me and I'll scream. I mean it. Hold on. Turns out Emily's been receiving strange letters from somebody named the Black Arrow Killer. I was gonna throw it away. But I decided to save him. Turns out he's been seen wearing a ski mask similar to the man who knocked me out and the guy who killed the girl in the intro. Turns out this plot's really, really confusing the shit out of me. What happened to the Dr. Malloy guy? Thomas Malloy. We awake the next day with two mysteries on our hands. A lot of clues to get through and Chelsea, Chelsea's here. Chelsea, Ch uh, uh, this isn't in the walkthrough. This isn't in the walk. Uh, 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 B. <laughs> well, that's kind of what I figured. Look, I just stopped by to let you know that I'm going to Phoenix. All right, we messed up the secret ending, but sometimes you just gotta accept failure and move past it. Just learn from your mistake. You know, sometimes you learn from your mistakes and you just go through the whole game again and not f up this time. Now, it looks like the only lead we got left is an address we found to a strange cabin in Thomas Malloy's apartment. Let's see if we can talk to the cabin's owner. Hey, are you all right down there? Looks like you got a bad case of the chicken pox. At least he left us this nice film to watch. This has definitely got to be full of clues. I can smell them from here. What the f***? What, there's aliens in this now? Where's Thomas Malloy? Did you hear that? That's it. I'm marching right back to Emily and I'm demanding she tell me where this guy damn doctor is. She's probably lying Malloy. about the serial killer thing anyway to throw me off. Ah, I guess she wasn't lying. Uh, uh, Detective Creel knew that the whole time. Guess I better get up there to go help her. <laughs> look, look at this badass shit. Oh shit, it's Tex Murphy. He's, he's way too strong for me. I'm out of here. Hey! <laughs> He says, hey, to stop him. I yell, hey, for you to stop. That's really rude. Hey! He's fucking dead, dude. Stop yelling hey at him. Well, well. It isn't Mr. NSA alumnus, Dag Horde. My god, the Black Arrow Killer was an NSA psyop. How deep does this rabbit hole go? Did, did you guys hear that? So you pigs are gonna arrest me for killing a government agent. Huh? I thought I had my freedom of speech. You seem to forget I'm a cop. And I'm a tired, pissed off cop. Yeah, well, I'm a tired, pissed off Creel. And we're only like halfway through this game, man. Like, wrap it up. Now, wait a minute. Who's the dame? And why should be followed around by sexy, sexy sax music? All right, Murphy. You can go. Story matches up. Yeah, yeah, this ain't the first time I've been bailed out by a woman, and it certainly won't be the last. I guess we'll head back to the office to try to piece this all together. Oh, what? Uncle Sam wants to see you. Oh, God damn it! Well, at least the NSA will have to treat us with the utmost respect and since I'm we're innocent until proven guilty. An American. Don't stick with me. I'll pull out my gun and blow your face. All right, all right, we're just joking around, man. I'm gonna do you the favor of a lifetime. 
I'm going to let you walk. Well, thanks for being so understanding. I know we had our disagreements to start off with, I'm but... I'm going to put a bullet right in your eyeball. Is I, that I don't clear? believe in a, you, you fucking lunatic. All right, pal, just drop me off at the McDonald's. I got a hankering for a quarter pounder with cheese. Ah! ah, my goddamn head is killing me, and I'm hungry. Nice place you got here. Decorate it yourself. Ah, it's you, the girl who bailed me out before. I knew I could hear that saxophone from outside the door. I've been looking for somebody. And who might that be? Thomas Malloy. Find out about this guy. He knows all the beautiful women in town. He's my father. Oh. Dear God, turns out she's Thomas Malloy's daughter. The little girl in the photo we found in the apartment. Apparently she knows where the doctor's been hiding this whole time. Wait, what? Why didn't she come find me? I've been running around for like 20 hours. I'm marching right to this dude's hideout and giving him a piece of my mind. The whole video I've had to explain this convoluted plot and I haven't gotten a chance to do my expert uh, award-winning gameplay jokes. I'm just stuck as Detective Creel the whole video. Dr. Thomas Malloy, I presume. You're in this day, aren't you? Fear not, Dr. Malloy. Detective Creel's here to save the day. <laughs> ah, jeez. Uh, can, can I get your old on me? So what's this all about, Tommy boy? Why'd you skip town? Have you ever heard of Roswell? Well, uh, uh, no. Hey, Malloy, don't move! Oh, hey, maybe these guys do. Hey, have you guys ever heard of Roswell? I said free! Look, I'm supposed to bring you back alive. <laughs> Sure, sure, I'll back off. I just wanted to stay for the explosive finale. I've been thinking about quitting smoking. You don't mind secondhand smoke, do ya? I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna throw the butt in the gasoline and blow you up. Fitzpatrick, I'm sorry, they killed him. I spent the whole fucking game looking for him and they just killed him. I don't, I don't know how to make it up to you. <laughs> An unfortunate turn of events. Extremely unfortunate. Yeah, whatever. Who cares? Say, hey, uh, before he died, he was talking about Roswell or something? Is that like a girl you guys knew? All right. Thomas Malloy and I, scientific researchers, were working together in Roswell, translating ancient alien hieroglyphics. Dominating information seemed to be that there was a second spacecraft. Yeah, that's that's really uh, interesting. Uh, I, let's just open the box you left behind and see if we can find the space symbol of a black sun. We were transferred to China. Oh my God, he's gonna blow! Hey, Regan, just wanted to let you know your dad left behind a box that may contain the location of an alien spacecraft. Uh, also, he's dead. Uh, your, your dad's dead. You long enough. I thought I was gonna have to start him by myself. Yeah, well, you're gonna have to finish by yourself because I'm getting that secret ending with Chelsea. Why? All right, good. Everybody here? Everybody done trying to explain it to me? Everybody done trying to fuck me? All right, good. Let's open a fucking box already. Good luck, my friends. Pandora's box has been opened. Oh, a uh, Pandora's box. Pandora's directed. <laughs> my God, there really is a spacecraft, and it's the South American jungle. Hey, would you knock it off? Uh, sorry, Creel. Well, it looks like it's just me and you, Regan, looking for this stupid thing out in the middle of nowhere. <gasps> there it is. Just think about all the knowledge we can gather from this. All the lives we could save. I'll be known as the greatest detective ever known. What? What a lovely little speech. I offered you a piece of the action, Tex. You got no one to blame but yourself. So you were working for the NSA the whole time. You had your father killed just so you could sell the UFO out from under him. You double-crossing sack of shit! You took good for your own good. Enough talk! Say goodbye. Uh, uh, oh! Oh, we're alive! Wait! Don't you- Fitzpatrick, you beautiful bastard! I knew your crazy ass would come through in the end! Spare him. And I will lead you to that which you see. So what's our plan now that we got them both in the spaceship? Well, oh, oh, we're just gonna lock them in the other room? Hold it!
Fitzpatrick, I'm I'm sorry. I I didn't want it to end like this. I know I know I made fun of your acting and everything, but I you you're my favorite character. Why don't you give us one last monologue for old time's sake, bud? My, my father, a long time ago. Listen to me now, follow me, this is important. My mother is an American woman in Nebraska. But my father's DNA is in me. Rest now, Fitzpatrick. I'll never forget you. Uh, also, I'm going to blow up the ship with all three of you in an escape. I hope that's cool. Okay, bye. Ah, another case solved by Detective Creel and Tex. Now we just got to sit back and enjoy the secret. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Cover your eyes. <sighs> well, I knew this was worth the effort. You know, I've got a coat just like that. When I was down in Phoenix, I learned to square dance, and it is so much Wait, fun. what? No! Man, what a mystery. I'd probably give the Pandora Directive about a 7 out of 10. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to end our story with tragedy. You see, the next game in the series is called Overseer, and the game was so bad that they canceled the rest of the series afterwards. But the worst part, the biggest slap in the face, was that they ended it on this. Oh, that's Tex. He's having a very bad day. That true, Tex? Oh, no. Everything's just going peachy. Well, things could get worse, huh? You see, we'll never know if Tex and Chelsea survive getting shot in the face. It's over! It's gonna drive me crazy for the rest of my life! So here we are, to pay respects to the Tex Murphy series. Rest in peace- Ah! What?! The corpse of the Tex Murphy series has been infected by the dreaded Kickstarter juice! My god. Looks like Detective Creel's on another case! Hey, special thanks to our executive producer, Psycho Soda Pop, and the rest of our Patreon family. Uh, I'll see you guys next time for Text 3.